Welcome back fellow fans of Clash of Clans. First things first, so excited we are getting the office set up. I finally have my real desk chair. We've got some better acoustics, we've got lighting, get ready for some cool live streams, some great videos. But let's talk about Clan War Leagues, you guys. I, you know, it's been like a week since this was broken and I didn't want to break down and make the video speculating about what was going on uh, until we had more information, all right? So I went ahead and I put together all of the information in one place that we've got about Clan War Leagues, a one-stop shop, an encyclopedia of CWL information, and here you go. So yeah, there's not a great deal of info. Okay, there's almost no, okay. There's no real information about Clan War Leagues out there yet, you guys. There's a ton of speculation over 25 pages in the Supercell Clash of Clans forums. Uh, and as you go into that, you really aren't going to learn much either. I went through all 25 pages and looked for any official posts, any official information coming directly from Supercell. And of course, Darian, the friendly Supercell Clash of Clans community manager. And, uh, right. Okay, so Darian said he had nothing to say. He was very specific about that. But then, but then he went on and he posted this. The traitor is a COC original character. He was created specifically for COC and does not appear in any of our other games. Ladies and gentlemen, this post led to an absolute firestorm of speculation amongst the Clash of Clans community. Linguists, mathematicians, and code breakers, CIA operatives went to work on this post counting the number of words, counting the number of characters, the position of each character in the alphabet representing a word that could be an algorithmically represented code that could break down and tell us all about Clan War Leagues. It was all right there, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, and then, then everybody realized he was just giving out some general information. So, yeah. Darian went on to say he had not given any hints nor do we have any hints as of the production of this video. So what do we know? Well, we know that the Clash of Clans team has a timeline. So that means they have a timeline for implementation of this. It is something that is likely already completed or near completion. So yes, it is coming. That, that pretty much tells us they would not have teased Clan War Leagues if it wasn't near finished uh, they've got a timeline for when it's going to be deployed, either to the developer build or in the live game. There are no more specifics, you guys. So, the best thing we can do now, the best the thing that most people are going to be relegated to doing now, is trying to figure out what this could mean and how Clan War League, or Clan War Leagues, are going to work. Now, of course, we know that Supercell's other super engaging, fun, exciting multiplayer game has a competition in it. Of course, I'm talking about Heyday and the neighborhood competitions, but that really doesn't give us much information. So, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There is this other game called Clash Royale, and they also have a clan war in Clash Royale. Hey, that's my boy Chief Pat. Didn't he used to make Clash of Clans videos at one time? Welcome back to a brand new Clash video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today I won't be making a Clash of Clans video. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. So, yeah, so Pat doesn't make Clash of Clans videos anymore. Maybe at some point we can get him back to do the Chief Challenge. Just like one episode, one battle with Pat would be amazing. But, okay, the reason I bring up Clash Royale is because I really don't think that a system like that is going to come anywhere near to working in Clash of Clans. You can't really, I, I don't think, have multiple clans battling each other and then how would the war bases work and... No, it's going to have to be something that takes the fundamental clan war system that we have now and expands on it. Now, it could be super complicated involving specific clans matching other specific clans based upon really specific criteria, or it could be something as simple as simply taking the existing clan war system and then placing all of the clans into leagues. Now, personally, if that were to happen, I'd be pretty disappointed. I don't think 
that you're just going to see, say, grabbing the league system from silver, bronze, gold, you know, and throwing those over into clans and then just saying, oh, now you're in leagues. It's, it's going to be more specific, more significant than that, rather. I think that we're looking forward to something that is big. Obviously, they would not have teased it like this and then made us wait this long if it weren't something that's really going to improve the clan war system. And, and now we don't even know if it's going to be uh, parallel with you know, parallel to existing clan wars, or if it's going to be integrated into clan wars, that's the thing. And so people are just speculating like crazy right now as to exactly how this is going to work. It is exciting. You have to look back and look. Now, there's a lot of things you can look at right now. Okay, the last big update was what? Town Hall 12, right? We saw an update that was for everybody. Maybe what we're seeing now, uh, personally, I don't think this is just an update that is geared towards the hardcore clan war community. I think that this is an update that is going to try to get more people involved in clan wars through the clan war leagues. So you never know uh, again, but I feel like, you know, the, you've got these small communities within Clash of Clans. You've got the small trophy pushing community. You've got the small clan war community. And I know you guys don't think you're small, but when you look at it as opposed to the entirety of the game and the millions and millions, we don't even know how many millions or tens of millions of players are logging on to play Clash of Clans every single day. Get more of them involved. It's a really good thing for the game. If you get more people playing in clan war, Maybe there are special rewards for Clan War Leagues, we don't know. So, there is a lot to think about, a lot to chew on. But again, right now, you guys, we don't really have any concrete information. But I can promise you this, as always, I will bring you the earliest possible update and sneak peek information and only the most accurate, okay? We will bring you confirmed information directly from Supercell from their website, from the forums, from direct contact with Supercell employees that I've paid off. I, I, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Not, that's not going to happen. But you never know. We might be able to get an interview with Darian about this at some point once information starts to trickle down. Because I, I suspect that we will learn bits and pieces like we have in the past. It may just be too early. So when is the right time, you ask? When are they going to do this, Galadon? Well, Again, what I suggest is do what most investors do, and that is go back and look at past performance and see if you can predict some sort of trend. And what I mean is take a look at when Supercell drops updates, when these things happen. Remember that there is this big summer vacation in Finland where a lot of Supercell employees kind of disappear around usually the month of July. Okay, so we had this huge update. We had Town Hall 12 come, and then everybody basically kind of took a break. Not everybody, but, you know, Clash got kind of quiet. People are starting to itch for an update, and now suddenly we're getting bits and pieces of information. So look back, you guys. Look back at the previous huge updates that dropped late summer. They usually come, and again, I'm not telling you anything that you can't look up yourself, but the big updates usually come in September and sometimes October. You can look back to the version history of Clash of Clans if you Google that. I've put it in free previous episodes and you will see that some of the biggest updates have happened in September's and October's. So I wouldn't expect to see anything immediately, but then again, you never know. Obviously, sneak peeks could start tomorrow for all I know, and uh, I will be scrambling at 4 a.m. to put together a video for you guys to make sure that you are up to date. But if it goes by what we've seen in the past you're going to have to wait a little bit because you got to remember these guys went on vacation or a lot of them went on vacation now they're coming back and obviously we're not going to see a giant update drop immediately after they come back from vacation but you never know they could have this all ready to go and sneak peek start tomorrow you guys uh, again i promise you that i will keep you up to date with the earliest possible information so stay tuned 
Stay subscribed, stay followed to me on Twitter at Galadon Gaming. That is one of the best places of all to find the fresh info as soon as it comes out. So there you go, some live war fails from me and some wins from Lost Phoenix, but get ready, Clan War Leagues are a coming and it's going to be a huge and exciting update to Clash of Clans. Thank you guys for spending a few minutes of your day with me. Love you guys. Have a great rest of your day. Be kind to other people and animals. And come back again tomorrow for more Full Attacks. Dally Dog. I like the echo chamber better. better.